Janet Brin and I'm April Bay. So April, we're gonna be doing things a little different today. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> we normally do cocktails at the beginning, but we're gonna start off with beauty today. We have a lovely guest host, awesome young lady. I can't wait for you to meet her. Her name is Lynette Lewis of Sage Roots. Looking forward to that. I'm really excited because I think she gets some healthy stuff for us too. Yes. So that's gonna be really, really cool. And then we'll tail it up at the end. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we like that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So stay tuned for more pastoral talk coming up next. <laughs> Marca Prosecco. Make any occasion sparkle. Created entirely by nature, it's the best water known to man because he had nothing to do with it. Bottled at the source, untouched by man, it's Earth's finest water. And we're back here at the Flamingo Sunset Villa in Long Bay, Tortola, British Virgin Islands for our beauty segment. You know, we posh girls are all about the beauty, beauty, beauty. Oh. <laughs> 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 we have our lovely guest, Miss Lynette Lewis. Hey guys. All right, of Sage Roots. Sage Roots. You got I'm it. getting tight tongue here. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. Almost Listen. every episode, I'm getting tight tongue over these things. I don't know what's my problem, but anyway. <sighs> How are you? I'm great. I'm really excited to be here with you. I'm today. excited to have you here. <laughs> you know, I've been following your products for a long time, Sage Roots, and. I can't congratulate you enough on your awesomeness. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a holiday season, and even, you know, if you watch this after the Christmas season, <laughs> Sage Roots has the most amazing gift set ideas for birthdays, whatever occasion, or just to spoil yourself, because every posh girl deserves to spoil herself every now and then. No, all the time. Okay, fine. <laughs> all the time, all the time. So, Lynette, what do you have? Okay, so I'm going to start with the ones close to you guys. Mm -hmm. And this is actually our body set. They're perfect because they all work together well. We have our cleansing bar. Nice. So this is a coconut milk soap. Mm -hmm. It's not drying at all. Coconut um, milk. That's and it has, it has a charcoal in it so okay it's black. okay um and it has lemongrass rosemary scent okay so you get to sort of soothe your skin clean mm -hmm. your skin without drying it mm. you guys can smell it if you want it has lemongrass and i smell it i smell it yeah. oh yeah and yeah, then nice. i need one of those you know so you can clean your skin you can go ahead and polish your skin as well mm -hmm. because we need to exfoliate to make sure it's skin yes. is nice and glowing. So that means um, I doesn't I don't always have to use the um, Snapchat filter I can just Yeah you can get that <laughs> I can just get that natural <laughs> So this one this one is our body polish and this is made basically with sugars and wow. salt. Wow. Coconut sugar, cane sugar, salt. Okay. Um, and it has some hibiscus in there. Hibiscus Lovely. is nature's natural food. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. So it's really good for improving the elasticity of your skin. And okay. it also has in cinnamon. Okay. Cinnamon is really good to help boost circulation. And when that really? when your circulation is boosted, if you will, uh -huh. it helps to it helps with your your natural glow. Okay, um, okay. Something I didn't know. And that. This yeah, one, I didn't know that. This one actually smells really, really yummy. It smells like it looks yummy too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, 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 nice. And when you finish polishing, okay. you can finish that up with your choice of a body oil or a butter blend. Um, this one is heaven in the bath. Okay. Um, this one is intoxicating. I, I really like lemongrass in there. Yeah, I'm really into my oil. So, I love this. So but this one, this, this oil nice. is a perfect oil. You can use it on your skin to mm -hmm. help moisturize nice. yourself. Yeah, you just open the sample. Oh, I should have done that. We are all about sample. Let me make sure it's on. Okay, okay. There you go. Ooh. And you okay. can use the thing I like about this, you can use ah. it for a number of different purposes. Mm. So once you get this bottle of oil, you can use it as your body oil. 
You can use it as your shave oil. You can use it in your hair. And I want to know it's your teeth. Yes, I know. Who doesn't love some bush teeth? It smells. Yeah. 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 I love it. And it's I really it. good. It's really good as a makeup remover. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah. So instead of having to buy a makeup yeah, remover, yeah, yeah. you have your oil. Okay. You put it on and it just helps to melt the makeup away. Wow. So awesome. it works. It works really beautifully. This is all right, and the, so this is one That's a nice set, set for your mm -hmm. body. Yeah, you know, if you want to concentrate on your face a little bit, okay. Um, we have or oh, right here, we have this in the mini, oh, okay. Mini size two. We have our face set, okay. So we have our char charcoal detox face bar, mm. so it's mm. similar. They're all made with coconut milk, so they're soothing and not drying. You can okay. coconut, um, they are. <laughs> okay. and, and hibiscus and, and a lemon grass. Okay, <laughs> those are my things, yes. Um, so, and this one also has Himalayan pink salt. So if you have issues with blemishes, mm -hmm. um, this is the type of soap you want to use to help cleanse your face and just reduce, like that. reduce um, the occurrence of these blemishes. And then we have a hibiscus face mist. Yeah. We'll give all that yeah. hibiscus. Uh -huh. And it has lemongrass in it. So we okay. make it with local lemongrass mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and hibiscus. Lovely. So I usually go out in the morning, um, pick fresh lemongrass, distill it okay. to get for these products. Really? Um, yeah. Okay. It's really oh. exciting. But you have your, your face mist, so you can use it as a toner. You can use it to set your makeup as well. Mm -hmm. um, and you also have your face mask. That's a yeah. set your makeup as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So what we're trying to do with the line is to eliminate having too many products for different purposes. Okay. Because there's a few of them that can work the same. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then our charcoal face mask. Yes. As well. So you would mix this with your uh, liquid of choice, whether mm. it's water, it's coconut milk, <laughs> <laughs> it's yogurt, honey. Okay. You can make that makeup face mask to help with exfoliating. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, and then once you're finished, you can finish up with your serum. Okay. Um, we have two types of serums, mm -hmm. one for oily skin and mm -hmm. blemish prone skin and one for normal to dry skin. Okay. So, of course, I know we're all about beauty, we're yes. all about us girls, yeah. but we don't forget the men either. Yeah. Oh, we love our men, we love yeah. our guys, yes. So if you're thinking Christmas gifts for them as well, especially for the bearded guys, uh, April, you need to get them for your hobby. <laughs> See, <Yeah. laughs> or beard oil yeah. uh -huh. and the beard balm. Yes. So what it does, it really helps to moisturize and nourish the the hair follicle itself. Okay. okay. So the the goal here, the aim here, is to help with healthy hair growth. Yes. Um, and when you make sure that area is not nourished, that would help. Mm -hmm. with, with a healthy a yeah. healthy beard, and this also doubles as a face oil. I know men. You don't like to put on a whole bunch of yeah, yeah. Um, but you don't want to go around looking dry and ashy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So <laughs> this smell that. I want to smell that. It's very, you very know, so light. Men mm -hmm. be like, eh, we don't want to smell too. It's very yeah. light. Okay. A very light scent. Oh. What did so you say? What was smell. in this one that you said? In the same. No, no lemongrass in this one. This no one actually grass. has a hint of, of vanilla and oh, okay. sandalwood. Oh, okay, that's um, what So I'm I try to keep things. Mm -hmm. It's not too girly scented. Right. right. No, yes, right. it's a little bit more. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, lovely. So what what do a set like this run for? Okay. If you want to get the whole set. So if you wanted to try, we have our minis. Mm -hmm. This one is for about thirty dollars. Okay. And then you can get this set, a set of three, for about sixty five dollars. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Nice, nice, and nice. you have your own personalized set. And then of course we would wrap it in a beautiful. Of course. Um, a compostable nice gift box. We're we're really big. <laughs> we're really big on the environment here at Savory. So yes, yes. Everything that we do, we want to make sure mm -hmm. we're doing the best by the environment. That's so, awesome. You have a little friend. Uh, that's very nice. Really I know a lot of people that would uh, really appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it's unique. Yeah. How, how long you have been doing this now? Um, for six years. Six now, years. Yeah. yeah. You're a master in it. But we. This is awesome. We rebranded last year, so. Yes. Okay. okay. In April last year, so mm -hmm. this look is new. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I love it. I wow. love it. So how can people get, especially our viewers overseas? How can we get? some sage packages. Okay, you can definitely go online, www.sageroots.com, so our e-commerce site is up and running. All so right. we're ready. <laughs> and we ship worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> our e-commerce site is up and running. Yes. Um, so you can get the products there, but mm -hmm. if you're local, mm -hmm. uh, you can pop into 
Clovers. We have them in Clovers. We okay. have them at Cooper Island as well. It's okay. a great wow. boutique. Okay. And we have them in Body Glam in the Clear Club. Okay, nice. So you have a few options to get yourself. Okay. Of course, of course, there are those people who like to have certain things personalized. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking for something very special in particular, you can just send us a message okay. on Facebook or on Instagram. Okay. And we can and sort that out for it. you. You'll yeah. So it. how can we find you on Facebook or Instagram now? Okay. Um, you can find Sage Roots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can find Sage Roots at Sage Roots. So that's S-A-G-E-R-O-O-T-S. -E right awesome. Now. Awesome. Um, I'm also on there. Lynette Lewis BBA, but it's probably easier to find Sage Roots. Sage Roots. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. find my page. You know, I have to ask because I noticed you're a naturalista. You got your hair natural. Yeah. You have products for hair too? I do have, work. more is coming. Okay. So sit tight. But I do have a few things for hair. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that I really wanted to focus on was the mm -hmm. scalp serum. And how this one works is okay. actually for thinning hair. Okay, okay. Um, so a lot of, a lot of us, we pull our hair back, mm -hmm. we put in braids, mm -hmm. and it creates a lot of tension in this in this area, especially okay. on the Okay, yeah, the front, the front, yeah. Yeah. So what this oil does, you use this oil, massage it into the scalp, and mm -hmm. it helps, again, to stimulate um, your your hair follicles to okay. help with healthy hair. Okay. So you're going to see a lot of um, herbs that are really, really good at stimulating in that the hair, growth, cayenne yeah. peppers, and yes, a few yes. other things. To help stimulate that growth. Okay. And then our body oil and Can butter also, also is we use that hair. in our hair. I actually yeah. use this all the time as well to see keep your keep my hair looking when I have it twist up. Awesome. Yeah. Well this is just awesome. Lynette, you're awesome. Gosh, girl. You guys too. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Make sure you check out Lynette Lewis Sage Roots. It's all about natural. All yeah. natural. Mm -hmm. Natural, natural. You know that's the way we do it. It's the way of the world right now. Yeah. If you're not in the natural, you're kind of like... You're on the bad line. You're on the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so make sure you follow. Comment down below if you have questions. I'm sure Lynette will be happy to answer any questions you have about any of our products that you might have. We look forward to hearing from you. More Posh Girl Talk coming up. Marca Prosecco. Make any occasion sparkle. Created entirely by nature, it's the best water known to man because he had nothing to do with it. Bottled at the source, untouched by man, it's Earth's finest water. And we're back, Posh Girl Talk, another segment of beauty. We're talking a different aspect of beauty, though. Mm -hmm. Our lovely guest, Lynette Lewis, is still here with us. And we got some, what we got, Lynette? We got smoothies going on. Like smoothies going on. Exciting yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, like you guys were saying earlier when we were talking. <laughs> okay, what yeah, rolls on the inside? Yeah. Definitely will show on the outside. Of yes, course. I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> I needed it. Let me cue that right there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what we're making today, I. I don't name my smoothies, but okay. I drink smoothies almost every morning because they're an easy breakfast food, yeah. food and they're an easy way to cleanse and detox your body. Mm -hmm. um, so today we're having kale as our green, mm -hmm. um, orange and almond, this is actually almond milk is going to be our base for this smoothie and then we're going to add some mango okay. and then of course we need a 40 for this smoothie so I have uh, some chia seeds and oat Ooh. and we I sweeten my, my smoothies with dates. So I don't add any extra sugar or juice. So we're going to do a little uh, rig up today. Okay. Um, some people like to put their oranges in the juicer and just mm -hmm. get the juice, but mm -hmm. I don't want to waste anything, so I just okay. drop the whole thing just, in there. Just, wow. just, put just put it all in. And then, of course, true Caribbean style, mm -hmm. I don't measure anything. Okay. So I just kind of go with the flow, figure out how much works. At first, I used to think that kale would be awful in a 
that's not me. Or I think you might. It's mm. so difficult. Okay. How long does this take you on a daily basis? Today? Well, I can see that. Um, I wake up at five every morning, so oh, I take my my fruits out. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I take my fruits out to thaw, and then I just throw it together in like less than five minutes. Oh. I'm done. It really doesn't take long at all. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. You mentioned what did you call this stuff? You fortify it? Yeah, I add it? I add oats and chia seeds. Sometimes I put in hemp and flaxseed in it, and okay. it's just to help boost it so that I don't feel empty after. Oh, okay. Chia seeds are also good for um, hydration. Right? They're really good. They're they when you when you let them soak, they turn into like this gel. Yeah, my mom said that before. Mm. So this magnificent. really makes an awesome breakfast. It does since her. You're, you will feel filled. You will. Instead of just having fruit sugar. Yeah. And yeah. then here comes the noise. I'm upset. Magic. And out comes the smoothie. Mm -hmm. So depending on how thick you want it, you add more liquid or less liquid. Okay. Um, so sometimes I end up having to put in a little bit more after I've blended. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. it looks good. That looks so good. I'm giving you guys all test marks. Yeah. There was no less <laughs> on the top of that glass. No less. Lovely. Ooh, let's see if I can get this one done now. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's do one and then do a quick cheese. Yes. Oh, I was thinking of just. <laughs> You're ready to go. Ready. <laughs> ready. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Cheers. Check to, to help you rhythm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. So you taste that orange in there? Yes, yeah, yeah, I taste it. It's, it's, it's such a rich, it's such a lovely. Yeah. And it's an easy way to stay hydrated as mm -hmm. well too. Yeah. The juices from the fruits. I like the fact that you use almond milk. Mm. Yeah. Instead of soy. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the soy. Milk. I'm not a big fan of soy, no. gotcha. so I tend to use almond or coconut milk. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Or I like that. Or I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take you home. I know. I was just thinking. I'm like, I need to just stop in my house every morning. Mm -hmm. It's really easy if you do the prep, like mm -hmm. let's say over the weekend, uh -huh. mm -hmm. section off your fruits, mm -hmm. um, and then in the mornings you just get up, toss it in a blender, mm -hmm. and. You're good to go. So you right. don't have that extra step of taking out your fruits and prepping them. I mean, so I, I need to do that. Yeah, it makes it easier when you're busy. And yeah. I'm gonna go. Because I see um, how you have your little containers yeah, yeah. and everything is I mean, ready for you. That makes it yeah. easier. I, I normally have a big blend of this and mm -hmm. then I pull, I add in some to the smoothie because okay. I've mixed up all of these. So. And speaking of organized, I know you've been sharing some awesome tips on your IG page. Uh -huh. Get, you want to share some of those? Okay. So fame. Reducing reducing waste. Yes, reducing um, waste. Yes. So like we were saying, <laughs> what is a no cut? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm really big on being environmentally friendly. And so mm -hmm. some of the ships the, the tips ships. <laughs> some of the tips some of the tips I shared on the page were things like uh print double sided if you're printing. Yeah. Um, turning off the shower when mm -hmm. you're on. When you're soaking up your skin, yeah. carpool. Okay. I love that one. I hate driving. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I can carpool, mm -hmm. that's what I'm gonna do. Yes. Um. Oh, I think I'm gonna hang right now. Grocery shopping. Oh, you make your, sure so your reusable bag. Yeah, make sure you have those reusable bags. Yeah. Don't forget um, them like me. Yes, I always forget. Put one in your purse. There's some that are not like small and cute and I've seen them. them. They fit yes. right in your purse. You like it, you like it, you <laughs> yes. So yeah, she does. So make sure you follow Lynette Lewis of Sage Roots. She has awesome tips, awesome mm -hmm. smoothies, awesome beauty. Pro I mean, the girl is just awesome. <laughs> it's extremely amazing. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. Um, and I love this. This is delicious. Yes. Yeah. What was your inspiration? Like, what made you want to do? It? Was it healthy living? It was. I don't have time for breakfast. What 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 was it? For you? I guess it just was um it quick quick and easy. Mm. Um, I grew up eating fairly healthy mm -hmm. um, because we were always the kids at school when everybody had 
Cheetos, we had an apple. Yeah. When everybody was like, <laughs> home, like hamburgers, we had whole wheat bread. Okay. Yes. Yes. So my mom was really, really big on making sure we were healthy, and that mm-hmm. just sort of continued on. Yeah. Um, and then when things get really busy, like I said, I wake up at five in the morning. Okay. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> I guess. Um, but it is really early. So, yeah. and when I'm up, I'm actually up working. Um, so it's really easy to just have this prep. So if I can't sit down and yeah. grab a decent bite to eat, I can do it on the road. That's I can sip and drive. Yeah, don't get drive. Sip and drive. Don't get twisted. Okay. She's okay. But really fast, the ingredients for this smoothie for anyone who wants to try it. Okay. So we have kale, kale. in it. Mm-hmm. Orange. Yeah. Or you can substitute grapefruit for that. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Mango. Yeah. Milk. So almond milk, coconut milk, soy milk. If that's your thing, whatever your thing is. Um, if you want to add or boost the smoothie, you can mm-hmm. add your own set of grains. In this one, I had oats and chia. Mm-hmm. And then I sweeten the smoothie with a date. Okay. So it's a natural a natural sweetener. <laughs> that. Blend it up, and there you go. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Now yeah. drip over honey, and then it's like dates. I've never heard yeah. of dates. I, I've never heard of that. And either. it's not too sweet at all. It's yeah, like it's perfect. just right. It's perfect. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I perfect. love this. Thank you for sharing this new product. Yes, thank you guys so for much. having me. I appreciate being here with you and giving you guys a taste of this. This is awesome. wonderful. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so more Posh Girl coming up after this. Next. Prosecco. Make any occasion sparkle. Created entirely by nature, it's the best water known to man because he had nothing to do with it. Bottled at the source, untouched by man, it's Earth's finest water. And welcome back to another episode of Posh Girl Talk. I'm your host, Janet Brin. And I'm April Baines. And we're here at the lovely Flamingo Sunset Villa in the British Virgin Islands, overlooking Long Bay. So pretty here. So, so pretty. We're doing it a little different today. We're having our La Maca and hair poolside. Uh-huh. Cheers, girl. Cheers. It's time for cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> we're chatting about today, mm. lady. <laughs> oh my gosh. April, how have you been? Man, busy. Busy? Busy. That's I the sort of a life though, man. Yeah, Jeez. busy is good. Busy is good. Busy is very good. Because if you ain't busy, you ain't saying nothing. You ain't saying nothing. Mm. And we've been busy. I've been busy too. You've been yeah. busy. I've been busy. We've all been busy. So It's all about the posh girl life. And being productive. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and doing it for <laughs> our why. So. Yeah. So, you know... One of the things I wanted to talk about, you know, you know, as ladies, I've been thinking about stretch marks. This has been a big issue for women and some men too. Do stretch marks bother you? Do they bother you? Um, not anymore. Not anymore? <laughs> not like I like them, but they're just like, they're there. Mm-hmm. They're going to be there. But they do go away, like no. naturally. I do. When? When I was stressed, when, okay, when I was when I was pregnant, I was like all stressed about it. I'm going to get stretch marks and they're never going to go away. But they went away. Mm. And my mom told me, mom, my mom said, you know, April, don't stress about that. They don't go away mm-hmm. And they kind of did. So I think it's just a matter of time and it's not paying attention to it. Okay. Instead of having the, what did we call, call it that one time? Body dysmorphic disorder. Yes. <laughs> Episode, yeah. So we just gonna ignore our stretch marks. Yeah, I think I have a, I, I think I have a little bit of body dysmorphic disorder. Uh huh. Because my stretch marks bother me. Not as much as they used to, but they yeah. bother me in certain situations. Okay, situations such as like such as I am in bed with my man, uh-huh. and he doesn't touch my stomach or he hesitates to touch my stomach because I have stretch marks from pregnancy um, and 
I, I feel sexy, I feel beautiful, but you just have that one moment of, I think he's not gonna touch my stomach. Let me tell you something. No, he's 100% unadulterated for <laughs> JP's right about now. I'll pull out the other side of me. Mm. It don't matter if he touched my stomach or not. Mm-hmm. If he's touching some other stuff, <laughs> then we good. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to touch my stomach. You don't have to touch my stomach for the next 12 months. Okay. As long as you touch some other stuff, <laughs> it's straight. And touching it properly. Touching it properly, it's good. So by all means, stay away from my stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, um, you just sit my... my Marca, your yellow marker and, and behave myself and be- today. <laughs> behave April <laughs> never <laughs> but yeah do you get bothered or shy about stretch marks I know a lot of us also refer to them as our stripes we earn them yeah. you know especially after you've had some babies mm. you know you're a grown woman now you've hit you know gone through your 30s mid 30s early 40s yeah that kind of vibe it's like i've earned my stripes yeah tell me which side of the fence you are on still a little shy with your stretch marks or girl i earned my stripes whatever hmm that's I mean, one with you. okay okay realistically speaking okay. yeah they do make me a little uncomfortable but i just i i would not wear like the bikini mm-hmm. that I would wear once upon a time. Bikini days are over. Yeah, bikini. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for me, I, I, we'll I can't. See. I can't do it. I keep hope alive. <laughs> I, I keep hope alive. You never know what's gonna happen. You know, they could be a miracle. But I mean, for the most part, I'm not gonna call them stripes. I don't like that. Mm. I actually really don't like to hear. I've earned my stripes. Okay. I'm a body type. Yeah, yeah. But I mean. <laughs> It's you. Just just love the other parts of you that are just mm-hmm. really awesome because there's some other parts of you that are really awesome and it's not everything is going to be perfect all the time. That is true. You know? So I think you've, you've hit a key point there. Yeah. Um, not everything is going to be perfect all right. the time. And I think we've said this before too, your imperfections perhaps is, is a perfection within itself. Yeah. It is the beauty of you. Yeah. So it's... Fly. Regardless. First love yourself. Right. So I'm still working on it. To be honest, I'm still working on it. Because you hear I me mean? like I, I can Wait tell you they bother me. But fly but first love yourself thing. Did you just come over that? <laughs> I would love to take the credit, but no, have you heard that term? No. I love it. First love yeah, yourself. Man. What is it? Yeah. Some yeah. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I don't think I've made that up, but I've used it before. Okay. Um, I like first it. Love yourself. It's well, very yeah. important. If you haven't used that term, use it every day, especially when you get into your moments. Like I'm saying that I do sometimes, where I'm like shy about these so-called imperfections on my body, and you just have to have a conversation with yourself. Self. Self. You're fine. Finest. You're fine. Bye. Finest. <laughs> or finest this Lamarca. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Yes. <laughs> so yes, definitely share your thoughts with us. We want to hear about it. You know. So while we still here in cocktails, I wanted to talk really quickly about. Normally we would do a quick segment about what's trending in the Caribbean. Yeah. But I want to get right into it because today is. We're actually taping on December 8th, Mm -hmm. and if you've been following what's happening in the world of Caribbean happenings, everybody knows our man Buju Buju. is out. He's out after, I think it was eight years? Eight eight or ten years he's been uh, in federal prison in Atlanta. And everybody's been going crazy. I saw a lot of footage online. Mm-hmm. People at the airport, because you know Caribbean people walking everywhere. So yes. all the Caribbean people in the airport trying to get a glimpse of him, filming the moment you know they brought him to the airport. Yeah. Um, he's on the airstrip because I guess he didn't, you know, would do celebrity style. You know, he can't walk through the airport no. with normal people. They took him on the airstrip and he got out of the van and you know boarded the plane the anticipation of people you know to welcome him back home in jamaica yeah i wish i was down in jamaica for that that had to be awesome 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 so 
he obviously, you know, he served his time, he did his thing, but he's recognized world over. He is a Grammy Award winning artist. Um, Buju has countless hits, songs, um, and his songs are just, they're not just sound good, but they make you feel good yes. because there's always some positive message behind yes. it. He just lifts you up. He's an amazing artist. Indeed. Um, I've had the pleasure and fortunate um, opportunity to see him when he was in Tortola a couple years yeah. ago uh -huh. from Music Fest, but we used to have a Music Fest here in BBI. Awesome. Man. His live performance, I mean, everything is on point. I can't, and speaking of performances, he's going on tour, y'all. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait for this tour. I have to be at one of these dates, or at least two, or maybe three of them. <laughs> I don't know. But you got to follow Buju Bantan online to get you know, the, details. the details on when this tour is going to kick off. They say his first performance, of course, will be at home in Jamaica. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. That would be a Because he's a great performer. Maybe we should go to Jamaica for that one. We should go. I love it in Jamaica. Uh, yes. What y'all think? <laughs> what y'all think? <laughs> ah, cheers, girl. See? Yeah, we got to take that out, too. Mm. <laughs> All right, so you got anything? No, I think, what? no. This Buju thing has been That's taking up the whole, like, hemisphere. <laughs> because, I mean, I was in club last night, uh -huh. and... It was like a whole 15 minute, 20 minute segment on oh, Buju 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 music. Buju they said, oh, hold on, we're just taking Buju for a second. And I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I, I feel like I'm at the Welcome Back concert already. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. You know what? It's funny you should say that. It probably was the situation at any party that happened last night. Yeah. Or any night to come, it's going to be all about Buju Buju Buju. Yeah. He's one of the most cele celebrated Caribbean acts right now. Yeah, I thought I read though. I'm not how sure, sure sure how true it is, but I thought I read that the the government is not going to the Jamaica government mm -hmm. is not going to be actively financially facilitating any huge concert. Oh really? For him hmm. or on behalf of him, and that okay. they're leaving it up to I guess his his people. His people. Okay. Um, we are looking into that. I mean, hmm. that's something to. Maybe, maybe it's a bit if it's maybe. should we celebrate him coming off of doing something wrong well you know, i mean yeah like technically principle? he did do something wrong because he was in jail yeah um we know he was found guilty for drug trafficking yeah okay and i think you know we should never condone that of course yeah. we should never condone wrongdoing but the, the thing is, and I, I, I want to believe that Buju, I, I want to believe he's, he's done. Yeah. He's done with any side of the wrong fence, yeah. kind of like. Um, I, I would like to think. Yeah. Because the man has so much talent. Yes. So much talent. And I'm sure his time away, I'm sure he had time to reflect. Yes, him, I mean because I mean you've had enough time in there, so let's. I know your mm -hmm. your mind has been bubbling on some really awesome music things, so I am really excited to hear what he has yeah. coming up next. And speaking of that too, I would hope, and you know, he should use this as an opportunity to also continue to encourage Caribbean young people uh -huh. or youth of the Caribbean. You know, this is my life. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake, mm -hmm. but this is what you need to do. This is what mm -hmm. you should be doing. You turn it around. Mm -hmm. Take, this is something make we all have message. to do. Take any negative in your life and turn it around and yeah. help make a difference for somebody. Yeah. And he has the ability to do that yeah. because we know his musical genius, you know, and he the power of music the yeah, can do a lot. So I'm hoping Buju, I, I, I feel that's what he's going to do. Um, because he has the he has the means to do it, he has the talent to do it, and he's got the platform um, right now. The platform. Like all eyes on him. Yeah. So. so we're definitely gonna be looking at seeing what our brother Buju, yeah, there in Jamaica is gonna be doing. So yeah, all the best to him. Definitely. And all, all the best trend. to all of you out there, struggling or not struggling, trying to live. 
and balance it all. And balance it all. <laughs> Stay positive. So that's it right now for Posh Girl Talk. That was cocktails, a different type of cocktail. Different type of cocktail. We went straight on La Marca. Mm -hmm. And I said, I have a couple bubbles. <laughs> My bubbles couple. are gone. What was the rule that we were talking about one time about um, the skinny glass as opposed to the white um, glass and bubbles? I was told that the slimmer glasses help the bubbles to last a little longer. Hmm. I still see some bubbles. We need some cocktails, cool. We need pop. Oh, we get sorry. caught up in the silliest things. But anyway, we have to go. So make sure <laughs> you share your thoughts with us. We are ecstatic and we look forward to hearing from you out there, Posh Girls. All right? Hashtag Posh Girl Talk. Thank you, April. All right. Bing. Bing. Bye, y'all. <laughs>